Rapper Cardi B says she wasn't going to vote until Kamala Harris entered the race against bully Trump as Democrats and Republican rivals enter their election fight endgames. Cardi B has endorsed Kamala Harris for president claiming in her speech in Wisconsin that she wasn't going to vote until the vice president entered the race against bully Trump. Both candidates held rallies within seven miles of each other last night in the Milwaukee area as part of a fevered final push for votes in swing state Wisconsin's largest county. Yeah, and milk won't break the bank. And they say I hate women, but I Milwaukee is home to the most Democratic votes in Wisconsin, but its conservative suburbs are where most Republicans live and are a critical area for Trump as he tries to reclaim the state he narrowly won in 2016 and lost in 2020. One reason for his defeat was a drop in support in those Milwaukee suburbs and an increase in Democratic votes in the city. The outspoken A-list rapper did find herself in an awkward moment at a rally for the vice president, due to teleprompter issues. Yeah. Yeah, she's promising a lot. That star, right? <laughs> Look good. I always stand up to one. However, she continued, I wasn't gonna vote this year, before adding that Ms. Harris taking over as the Democratic nominee changed her mind. She's passionate, compassionate, and most of all she is not delusional, she said. She referred to Donald Trump as a bully. He said he's gonna protect women whether they like it or not, she says. If his definition of protection is not the freedom of choice, then I don't want it. I'm not giving Donald Trump a second chance. Start showing. Ah, I'm exhausted. Out of her mouth. She's passionate. She's come. No job. <laughs> Democrats know they must turn out voters in Milwaukee, also home to the state's largest black population, to counter Trump's support in the suburbs and rural areas. Harris is hoping to replicate, and exceed, turnout from 2020 in the city, which voted 79% for Biden that year. The famous female rapper dressed in white took the stage in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and immediately paused as the crowd cheered wildly. One second guys. One second, she began as the crowd cheered her on. Harris? Nine eggs and milk won't break the bank. Okay, so I don't take lightly the call, she began, before pausing. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous guys, I've been waiting for this moment this whole life, my whole life. I need patience over here. Patience where are you girl? She shouted. I need patience over here. Are we ready to make history? She asked repeatedly. Four of the past six presidential elections in Wisconsin have been decided by less than a point, or fewer than 23,000 votes. Yeah, she's promising a lot. That's start, right? <laughs> Look good. I always stand up to one. It was absentee votes from Milwaukee which typically are reported early in the morning after Election Day, that tipped Wisconsin for President Joe Biden in 2020. After about 90 seconds of stalling, finally an aide rushed on stage to give her a phone with what looked like her prepared remarks on the screen. Now I took my time writing my speech, so I wanted to make sure I delivered it right, she said. That this country is at risk. That Start showing. <laughs> ah, I'm exhausted. It's out of her mouth. She's past Cardi B quickly regained confidence and read off her speech from the phone. That's what we can say. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to this news office channel. We thank you all for your support. Wait for other artist news. Stay loyal to this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, she's promising a lot. That's all right. <laughs> Look good. I always stand up to one. <laughs>